first thing I want to ask you about, I guess, uh, the first President Bush would call it, is the vision thing. Um, can you give us just a few minutes on what is the vision for Virginia Tech's Innovation Campus? Sure, thank you. It's, it's great to be here. It's great to see all of you, and what a wonderful panel. Uh, the, the Innovation Campus really started well before the Amazon opportunity. About five years ago, we were looking at uh, building a global innovation district or being an anchor for something like that. We didn't exactly know where it would go. We didn't know when it would start, but we put a lot of work into it. And the idea was we're, we're the land-grant research university for the Commonwealth. So we have an office in every county, every city, and we have seven sites up here in Northern Virginia that have been uh, were established 50 years ago. And... and graduate education, all sorts of research. Many of you know where those sites are. Uh, so this was always part of our, our um, opportunity to be an urban slash rural land grant, to be able to leverage both types of uh, environments. And um, we, But we knew five years ago that we needed to expand our presence up here. And so we had put the plans in a drawer after we spent I don't know, months working on them. And then the opportunity came up. We got a call from the Commonwealth that... Uh, there was going to be a competition, and we rose our hand and said we want to be part of it. And won't, the rest of it, you know the story, but uh, it, uh, it became the catalyst for realizing our vision for what an innovation campus could be. And uh, the, the vision part has more to do with the way that universities are, are moving in the future. More of it is about partnerships uh, cross sector and with other academic institutions. It's about learning by doing, so that even at the graduate level, uh, engaging our students in studios and in internships, uh, not just classroom experiences. It's about stackable credentials. It's, it's about changing up the, the way that we do education so it's more flexible and adapts to the, the modern uh, uh, individual seeking to up their skills or, have an, or, or gain an education. And, and then there's the whole tech thing. So what we were uh, lucky. We, we ended up hiring a couple of people who helped, helped start Cornell Tech back a decade ago or so. And they joined Virginia Tech before this whole thing happened. Uh, and uh, they've helped guide us there. But of course, when they had to open up their Roosevelt campus, Roosevelt Island campus, they had to add tech to the name. So that's Cornell Tech. We were already Virginia Tech. So this was an easy transition. We have about 10,000 engineering students, uh, mostly based in Blacksburg, but a growing number up here in uh, Northern Virginia. A lot going on in data analytics, in um, integration of technologies. You probably heard about the first commercial drone deliveries uh, to residences a couple of days ago. Virginia Tech uh, Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership was one of the partners in that. Uh, Virginia Tech Transportation Institute leads the country in autonomous systems, and especially autonomous trucks and, and cars. And so we're, we're been, we've been in this space uh, for a long, long time. And finally, for us, we have the opportunity to build a platform that will allow us to engage our partners in a much more meaningful and much deeper way. At the same time, address this tech talent challenge that we've got where uh, we, we, anything we do, all together, you add up everything we're going to do. It's not going to be enough. You know, we're just going to have to run at full speed, all of us. So we're pleased to be part of that. Mm -hmm.